happening people welcome to the next episode we are at brighton marina today we're going to go out and fish the west wall i say we i've got matt with me today hello people because uh well sam blew me out he had to do some stupid stuff called work whatever that means steve had to do the same um so yeah me and matt come down stuff them right we're fishing the west i like fishing the east preferably for place and things but today it's not all about the place. So I've seen reports on Facebook the last few weeks of uh, squid and cuttlefish being caught. Um, so I really wanted to give that a proper go today. So I've just been into the tackle shop down here to have a chat with a man because he knows what he's talking about. I think, I can't think what they call him, but he's the bass man basically. He catches all the bass, he, he, he knows he's lure fishing and he knows his stuff. Yeah, Matt? He knows his stuff. Um, so I went in there. He showed me what squid jig I need, a nice pink one, um, two of them. Oh, mate, look at that. There is no movement on that water at all. Why, am I, why have I not got the bloody boat today? Oh, look how clear that is. Jesus. Look how clear that water is. Oh, this is going to be a good day. This is going to be a good day. Um, yeah, so he showed me what, what squid jigs I need. I had to set up with a float, so that's the plan today. I'm going to do a bit of squid jig. I'm going to fish for a place as well. I've got plenty of ragworm from Midway Tackle Supplies who sorted me out yesterday, so thank you very much, Lewis and Mick, for that. A um, bit of squid as well, because I do like to tip my baits off every now and again. Um, but the bass man, as I call him, from the from the tackle shop down here, he um, he had 12 bass this morning on lures off this pier. Um, he said go west if we want to try for things like cut oil and squid and stuff. So, well, that's what we're doing. The man knows best, so you've got to take as much local advice as you can get. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I will show you the goodies that I bought at the shop this morning. Um, oh, also, mackerel have just turned up apparently. He said the first few mackerel were caught on the east this morning, which is that side. So, they, they've got to come this way. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do I'm gonna do a little bit of lure fishing. I'm going to have a rod out for place, or whatever else comes along with ragworm. I've got some peas on me as well. Um, so I'm going to have a go for the place, go for the squid, a bit of lure fishing for bass, bit of mackerel bit of everything today um it'd just be nice to see a few different species if we can get a few mackerel to take home to chuck in the freezer as bait then kushti get some in the freezer for rubby dubby for when i start tote fishing on my boat which won't be long water's all clear down there and all it's normally full of mullet in there um yeah right i will bring you guys back when we get there we're looking for bay 15 apparently is the one we want um, yeah, when we'll set up, bring it back in a bit. Well, Pete, well, this is the first and last time you're ever going to see Matt in one of my videos. We're at Bright Marina, it's nearly summer, and what's he going and get? A bloody codlin. Are you sure? <laughs> On a bit of ragworm. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. Well done, mate. First of a codlin, isn't it? Yep. There you go. First fish, you can pack up now, man. Go and see the van. See yeah. you later. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, true, for a true fashion fish hunter style, I've lost my first rig straight away. Um, oh, I should say that I've got nice new reels. Mint condition, Dara 7HT mags from um, from Mick. He's an absolute legend of a man, so thank you, Mick, for selling them to me. Um, so, I've set up my squid rod, bored of that. I had a lure rod, I had two casts, and I got bored of that. Um, and now, I have put a long, just a long boom on this little rod, on this little muckabout rod, with a with a, a four foot length fluorocarbon, three of um, sea glow, three of the sea glow bullet pop ups, and a small and a bit of squid to see if there's anything like garfish or mackerel about. Um, but I am thinking, I was just thinking about moving over the um, moving over the to the east wall, but now I've done now because Matt's just had a little cod and he's got to get his little pictures. Look, bless his heart. Um, so yeah, unbelievable. Getting a codling, eh? How about that? Well done, Matt. Right, guys, we had a move. So we're around on the east now, um, which I prefer. Oh, sorry about filming. Um, we're at Bay 24, 25, something like that. Um, first chuck. Um, there's a few mackerel. A few gentlemen down there have, um, have had a few. So I've got that little pop-up rig I was telling you about. Uh, telling you about out. I've got two rods. One with a loop rig on, one with uh, one of the Sea Glow Bagnall bars on, um, both with rag. I haven't tried any crab yet, but I've got a few in there. Oh, I've got a few in there. Some really, uh, 
I mean, yeah. He's pretty ready, him, isn't he? He'll be the next bait, he will. It's a nice size to go on one hook. Peeled all the legs off. He's still alive. Same as the rest of them. Let's get my coat out. There's another one that's really nice and ready to go. Coming out of his shell. Um, there's a few in here, I know, that are ready. There's a bigger one. He's, he's well ready to go. Oh, look at him, look. Lovely. It'll be another one we use up the day. So what I try and do, so if you've got peelers in your bucket, he's again, he's really nice and ready. You can just feel them cracking. Look at that. I'll try and use the ones that are ready to go now. He's not. But yeah, there's a few in there. Some nicer ones, some smaller ones. It's really coming to the end now, pretty much. It is, yeah, struggling to find a few crab in there even. It's been really, really bad this year for the crabbers. Another one is ready. Ouch. But he's biting, so he's not he's not going out yet. I'm, uh, I'm trying to save as many as I can for the freezer for a bit later on in the year. But when you need them, you need them. Um, so I'll probably end up peeling these ones in a minute, so they're ready for me and Matt. Yeah, mate, yeah, go here. Yeah, all the way through, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Matt, what rigs are you using? One up, one down. Yeah, Matt's using a one up, one down, and a two up flapper. Well, put the ragworm back in. Yeah, I mean, size of some of these rag. These are a week old. These are what's left over from the weekend. So they're not in the best, the best of condition, but they're still moving, they're still wriggling, um, and they're doing the job. Oh, I say they're doing the job. They caught Matt Cod. Ain't caught me, Nate, yet, though. But to be honest, it was good to just 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 see how, how well Matt done. He was like I say, first coddling. It was a touch, and to get one down here is yeah, it's really really good. So um, yeah, right. I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna bring my rods in, check. So you check these baits, get a bit of crab on, and give that a go. Um, and obviously, I'll bring you back to hopefully a place or something. Here we are. Well, literally, I've just got off the phone. Oh, he's very lightly hooked and all. Just got off, stop, just stopped recording, said I'm going to reel in and check it, and there you go. It's only a babber. It's a very small one. But, first one, it's a good sign. Don't even see a bite on that little thing. Go on, little dude. Swim away. Gone. Um, so, yeah, all, all is good. All is good. Right, let's get this rebated and get it back out there. I'll try a bit of crab this time. Right, guys, and that was the end of that video. Um, this is like four days later. I wasn't even going to put this video up, but I had a bit of footage. I was looking for my phone. I thought, oh, do you know what? People have got to see the bad trips as well as the good trips. So I thought I'd show you McCoy. And some, I've got some commons in there, and I've got this little fella here. And I've got a couple of lovely little sturgeon in there. Not that you'll see them. Oh, there he is. There's my sturgeon. There's one of them. You can just just about see it. Um, so, yeah. That was pretty, pretty crap that day. Um, Matt had that codling, which was amazing. I had that little place, and I thought it was going to do well, but... It just literally, we stayed there for another three hours without a fish. So uh, there was nothing else to show you, nothing else to record. Um, but I put in the video up anyway. You see the good ones, you see the bad ones. Um, I'm back out tomorrow evening. Uh, oh, that was big, whatever that was. I've got a couple of really, really nice um, mirror carp in there that are about sort of three pounds probably. Um, and yeah, they do like to smash the, uh, there's one of them down there. They do like to smash the, uh, the the pellets off the top. There's another sturgeon. See him? Yeah. Lovely little fella. He's right on the bottom, he is. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry it was such a short video. Sorry there wasn't many fish. Um, and Matt, well done on your coddling, but you're no longer welcome. <laughs> In a bit.